sometimes when you pull a dent, you end up with a little bit of oil canning. What I'm going to do is I'm going to find the center, the very center of that oil canning, which I think is right there. I'm going to take a torch, heat that up till it's red hot, whack it right in the middle of that red dot, and cool it off quickly. And that should take care of our oil canning. So let's do that. So, I think it's right there. And if, if it does it again after I cool it off, then I'll have to move. But I'm thinking right there. So we'll turn down the gas a little bit. And that's good enough for me. That's firm. Although, maybe right in here. Right in here. So we'll, we'll do it again. Just lightly this time. I don't, I don't think I'm going to go too crazy. And I do have a hole in the back side in which I can blow air down through there to make sure there's not a fire on the inside. And now I'll just blow air down inside the panel. Make sure there's no fire inside there. And that is very good. That's solid as a rock. That's even better than the other side, which has no dent in it. That's how it is brand new. It, it pops in and out. But this side does not pop in and out. It's very firm. So now we're just going to grind this down nice and clean, fill it with plastic filler, and uh, sand it flat. So again, a lot of times you'll find that when you're working on dents, you'll have an oil canning situation. And this, this uh, method of shrinking metal seems to work well for me, and it has never failed me. Now, if you look at the other side, it does have a little bit, and it's not even damaged. And this side is, is very firm. So I hope you enjoyed this short video on curing oil canning, which can be very frustrating. And if you did, and you'd like to see more of my videos, uh, please consider subscribing to the channel.